Good day, guys. Being here. Um, today we're going to try this one. Okay, so I think the hardest part is how to create this um, surface to so we can use a pattern uh, divided surface in a pattern based family. So I did uh, try. I did try. Um, so this is the best I can do. So it's not perfect, not exactly the same, but. Uh, so I'll show you how uh, I achieve this one. So now let's do it. So new, first we you create new new. Uh, let's create a new con conceptual mass, and you can also use um, uh, model in or model in place mass in a uh, in project. So first we need to create the footprint of this one. So basically, uh, that's the shape. So Okay, so go to Revit in we can go to floor plan. So I'm going to just draw one edge. Okay, so one edge roughly um, or roughly like uh, maybe like this. And then I'll just make it 16 meter. So it sits, you know, center with uh, this reference plan. And I'll rotate this RO space to place center of rotation to here so and also check this copy okay so and rotate it by 120 so we have another one here and then we can just mirror mm to the other side now we have three and then we need to have uh let's draw a um draw a something like this um Oh, actually, it's not not snapping the you know ninety degree um, uh, point. So we can just draw a oh hang on, let's draw a line perpendicular to this one, and another one perpendicular to this one, and then we can create a arc. So to oh, it's not snapping onto that. Um, interesting. So usually it should work. So reference arc here, here. Oh, sorry, wrong one. <laughs> reference arc here and here. Oh, it's not snapping on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's here. Good. So let's just delete. We don't need this anymore. And we can just select this one mirror to the other side and also rotate this space 120 so we have now we have a footprint of this whole thing right so i think is that right it's, i should yeah it's interesting i should should be able to select the whole thing instead of see uh it's missing missing one but uh, that's just uh skip skip this <laughs> Okay, so next we need another level. So let's go roughly copy another level. Go to 3D view. I'll control C, copy these and change them to level, uh, the upper level. And then I'll just paste another one in the original uh, place. So we have two. And also by looking at this, uh, there's a little bit of a hand here. So I want just uh, move the top one a little bit. So I'll just maybe move um, maybe three meter and three meter as well and this one and three meter. Okay, so now let's have a look in 3D view. So you can see two profiles. So the top one is slightly bigger. So select them and create a form. And this is a solid form. And the next part is how to have how to create this this face so we can use um void okay so so let's hh this form and we're going to create a void of using uh either this one or this one i think uh i think we'll use this one <laughs> okay so let's uh so first place a point use draw on face and place onto this reference line and then reference uh, I'm going to use a rectangle, draw on world plan, set world plan, and pick the world plan to the, of this point and draw something like like 
like this okay so uh, you can make it bigger if you wanted to I think uh, it will be good because we are going to create uh, make sure uh, let's let's we, we can we can adjust it later so this is one of the profile so I'm going to just drag this to this end and then copy it CC copy and select this point and pick new host onto this end okay so I'll just uh, use SE to snap end tab place so now we can select one two and three so actually the reason uh, I'll show you I'll show you uh, what I'm doing okay so first I'm going to create a shape like like this so um, no actually I'm going to show you this one I'm going to show you the wrong one first <laughs> So first I want to rotate this one by 90 degree, uh, maybe negative 90 degree. So we have this uh, we have this sort of profile on the top. Okay, so roughly like this. And then if if I want to create a solid, so you'll see this is not the shape because when this if this one cut the solid it will cut you know a big chunk of that, right? So what we need to do is we need to let me just dissolve it rotate this back by zero degree select this one this one and this path and create a form and then once this form is created so we can select this point and rotate it by now of a negative 90 degree so now you will see this when this solid form touch cut this uh, the original uh, form it will create uh, some interesting uh, curved shape so let's HR to bring back the original and then let's try to change this one to void and sometimes it won't work but yeah so uh, I think we are quite lucky this one <laughs> so now you can see we we created this face this um, this this form okay so and sometimes um, I, let, let me just try let me try to move this up a little bit so you can see once I move up a little bit it's, it changed the starting point you know so I think yeah but it's um, yeah I think it's very hard to create that because because uh, you need this solid to, be, to follow that as well so yeah I'll, I'll 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 leave it to you so this is uh, the best i can do <laughs> um i think it's not bad and then once we have this we can tab select this surface and use divided surface so this and then we can apply some pattern based family to create that uh, this okay and this uh, the side as well so you can just tab select this surface and use divided surface and then apply pattern based family or even you can try uh, in a project you can also try a curtain system as well yeah I think um, yeah I think this is it um, And what else? Yep. And then you, you can just do the same thing. Just copy. I'll just quickly show you. So H I'll H H the solid form first. So basically, you can just copy this, copy this, and the point and the profile. CC. Copy it to anywhere, and pick this point and place new host onto this reference line and um hang on it's it's uh the other direction it looks like yeah that, um, uh, that's fine um how can i maybe rotate it back back or i'll try if, if i can flip um yeah to the other side no not flip mirror uh maybe both yeah perfect <laughs> okay so let's copy this one again cc and pick new host or SE tab here so for this one uh, we need to let me just uncheck 
maybe uh, change this one to zero. Um, still not right. No, not right. Not not right. No. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. So let me just uh, try a uh, 180 degree. Yeah, that's that's it. And then um, still before we create that uh, void, we we need to rotate this back to the vertical uh, position. So let me try zero degree. Yeah, good. Select this, select this, and also tab select this. Create a form. Select this point again and rotate it negative 90. So now we can change this solid form into a void. Okay, so and then usually it will automatically uh, cut. So because uh looks like we have some we have some issue here because it's cutting too much here. Um yeah maybe what we can do is i think we can try, try to change this one move this one so 26 how about 21 and this will yeah reduce the amount of this but yes yeah, still not uh let me just have a look okay so that's yeah a little bit flat um compared to this this is not enough right so let me just try this change the one this one to 21 meter as well yeah, so I think that's better. So at least uh, look similar now. Um, yeah, so this is it. So that's another one. And oh, hang on. Uh, yeah, I think why why this one's not the same? Oh, looks like this this one. Oh, yeah, because 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 we um, I used this one for this one and it's actually different you can see this one's being placed right onto the point and this one's this one we moved this one a little bit so that's fine we just need to we can still use this profile just need to move this back onto the point uh, let me just press shift to pick that point okay and so this will create exactly the same void we have here i believe uh still a little oh yeah i think we adjust this as well uh, that's fine let me just double check okay so uh, i'll check see this is the distance from this point from which point from this point interesting let me just point this to this point so it's this number so if i change this profile so that this edge to this point is the same as this one i think uh sorry my mouse is not working okay <laughs> i think we should have exactly the same void now they should be exactly the same okay so this um this is it um so it, um if have a try yourself and i think this is a this no nah, this uh, it's it's too hard <laughs> and also you can have a try that but that would be quite simple um yeah so this is it so if you have any questions please uh, let me know i can upload this one for you so you can have a play so it's um if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.